Hello, thank you for joining with me for the meditation of Lesson 223 in the Workbook for Students of A Course in Miracles. Go ahead and sit with your back supported, head and neck free. Start breathing in through your nose for a count of two, out through your mouth for a count of four, and repeat that three times. God is my life. I have no life but his. I was mistaken when I thought I lived apart from God, a separate entity that moved in isolation, unattached and housed within a body. Now I know my life is God's. I have no other home, and I do not exist apart from him. He has no thoughts that are not part of me, and I have none but those which are of him. God is my life. I have no life but his. If you have not already, move into a 3x breath in through the nose for a count of three, out through the mouth for a count of six. Repeat that three times and then move into a 4x breath. In through the nose for a count of four. Hold it for a moment and then out through the mouth for a count of eight. And repeat that as often as you like through this meditation. Our Father, let us see the face of Christ instead of our mistakes. For we who are your Holy Son are sinless. We would look upon our sinlessness for guilt proclaims that we are not your Son and we would not forget you longer. We are lonely here and long for heaven where we are at home. Today we would return. Our name is yours and we acknowledge that we are your son. God is my life. I have no life but his.
God is my life, I have no life but his. This continues the theme of oneness. I live in God and he in me, not in body but in the spirit he created as one with him. As we made our way through the first part of the workbook, we learned our mistake. We believed we were a body, a wrong-minded self. But now we happily choose the Spirit as our self, capital S. This is from the text, chapter 31, section 6. Okay. Choose the Spirit, and all heaven bends to touch your eyes and bless your holy sight, that you may see the world of flesh no more, except to heal and comfort and to bless. This does not mean that I have no other thoughts, but that I no longer recognize my ego thoughts as true, attempting to justify them or make them holy. Thus do these thoughts lose their power, which were held in place only by my belief in them. When that belief is withdrawn and placed in the right-minded thought of atonement, the ego gradually disappears back into its own nothingness. And this is from the text, chapter 31, section 7. Thus is the concept of himself laid by, for nothing stands between his sight and what he looks upon to judge what he beholds. And in this single vision does he see the face of Christ and understands he looks on everyone as he beholds this one. For there is light where darkness was before, and now the veil is lift lifted from his sight. This is chapter 12, section 8. What God did not give you has no power over you, and the attraction of love for love remains irresistible, for it is the function of love to unite all things unto itself and to hold all things together by extending its wholeness. How joyous is our decision, for we no longer suffer a separate state apart from God. Our longing for heaven has opened our eyes, long closed in feverish dreams of loneliness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thus we are home where God would have us be. And that's from the text, chapter 31, section 8, 12, sentence 8. God is my life. I have no life but his. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow.